time now. I did it. I'm happy. I'm ready to go. Yeah. Do you feel like you can put, um, not that you weren't putting enough commitment to soccer before, but does it kind of take a weight off you to be able to be here and train with the team? Oh, yeah, for sure. I don't have any other responsibilities now. So this is, I mean, all my focus is for soccer now, so definitely takes a weight off my chest. Does it make you feel happier that you can focus on what you, I don't know if you, but this is what you really wanted to do, but obviously we get into school all the way, it's sort of like, okay, I guess what you're saying now, does it make you happy to be able to just focus? Yeah, I mean, that's what I do, so I don't want to be taking being fun, but I don't want to be doing that while I, while all I need to do is be focusing on soccer, so. How do you think that may in your play and all of that is possible? Uh, find a hobby for during the day but I mean soccer wise it's gonna help me drastically so in what way um everything from my first touch I'll get first touch on the ball every single day technically I'm not as uh, strong as I want to be so have there been moments in the game um, obviously Paul has praised you a lot um, especially since you're a rookie but have there been moments in the game where you think I could have done that better had I been practicing and training? oh yeah 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 I mean, even when I come out, me and Mike focus a lot on my first touch with my left foot, and if I'm doing that every day, it's going to get better. Um, yeah, speed of play, too. Once I get in with practices, my speed of play is going to be way faster, and that's something that will help my game a lot. Given the performance that you have had as a rookie this year, um, has it given you confidence just seeing the ability to come in, um, even though you haven't even been training here, come in, be a starter in this league, and be able to stop some of the best attackers? Um, yeah, it's giving me confidence, but I i mean, I wouldn't be able to do it without Nikki telling me what to do every second of the game and Nadine behind me and all the older girls kind of leading me along. Can you talk about the role that Nikki has kind of had, obviously, without Rachel in there. She's kind of a veteran on the back line. Yeah, I mean, she definitely, whenever, I mean, she's the one who talks the most. She's the one who tells me that I need to be talking more and get the back line up and um, I think I've learned a lot from her already about what, who I need to instruct on the field and who my responsibilities are, kind of. So that's what Nikki's helped me a lot with. And uh, Nadine obviously um, made a save on a PK and has had some um, big saves for you guys this year. Can you talk about the impact she's had on the team and uh, for you guys on the back line? Yeah, I mean, she's, she's huge. She's awesome. And um, just being able to trust who's behind you is, the, I mean, the biggest thing for us because... Without her, we're the last line standing. We can't make mistakes. But, um, yeah, she's fitting in nicely, obviously. So it's have been you, helpful. Have you ever had a chance to play with a goalie at her level before? No. I mean, our goalie at Georgetown was awesome. I love her. But, I mean, some of her caliber, I don't know how many people have ever been able to play with somebody as good as she is. So. Thank you. Thank you. Yep.